Okay, um, this is actually pretty common if um, the distributor cap. Um, I found this actually a few people actually have this problem, and I'll explain to you why. Um, in the next video, I'm going to do that too. I'll go to the car, but I took this apart. If you noticed, there's a bunch of liquid all over here. See that? And then puddles. Right there. Moistures. Oil. It looks like oil and moisture. All that. This it's it was even wetter than this. It dried out a little bit. And the car wasn't able to start. You see how dirty that is? And look at the the, the, the moisture in there. You can see the shine on that. I'm going to explain to you a little bit why people are having this issue. See how I clean that up now and it's all... You see that? It was even wetter than this. I'm going to explain to you a little bit what happened. Okay, this is in my case and I'm pretty sure there's a lot of them in the same way with people having this issue. Um, there was a lot of moisture in... We were losing coolant and there was a lot of moisture. I took the PCV valve out and I cut it and I put it in an oil catch can and it was working a okay but during the highway it's starting to hesitate when we go about 80 85 miles 75 85 miles on the highway it's starting to rumble and what happened is, it's causing a misfire because the moisture went into the engine. But what happened is, this is the day before. It was starting to make that noise, but it was we're running okay. So, my dad is like one of those people that like don't like to change things. So, I said, you know what the hell with you. I'm just going to put the PCV uh, uh, valve back. But this time I put the non-cutting one. And I didn't put the vacuum tube back. Because when you do that, you have to put the vacuum tube back. And he was driving a okay. And I guess the moisture built so much up, it wasn't able to push the, the PCV out um, into an oil catch can. And what happened is, it has nowhere to go except for upward into the distributor rotor itself. Then, then, because of this is, this is, this is covered, this got flooded. And that is the main cor culprit for this. This was all, as you can see, this was all bunch of moisture. It was wet. You can still see some right there. I mean, we're talking about, I took this out. Um, look right there. A little moisture on there still. I took this out like eight hours ago and you can see there's still a bunch of oil left and you can see evidence in there as well. What happened is the oil vapor and the steam wasn't able to escape through the um, PCV. Uh, PCV valve. Uh, so it has nowhere to go. It worked its way up to where the distributor cap is because that's where the escape is. Because if you look down, there's actually a, a little hole there before you drop the, 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 the rotor in. The, 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 the distributor uh, rotor, whatever, the rod. That's where it sits. And because, like I said, because the PCV is not working properly it couldn't go nowhere the moisture the water and the oil vapor couldn't go nowhere and that's where it leads to here and that's what caused of this so um if you have this problem the first thing that you need to do is clean this all out first of course and then make sure all your sparks and everything's ate okay and check your PCV valve. 
that is very important another thing if you have moisture and you have uh, a little bit coolant blow by then i would suggest you to put a, uh, an oil catch can in and cut it and cut the pc uh pcv uh, valve i have it in another video where i'm um, check out the the oil catch can um video and you will see how i cut it but once i cut that it was able all the moisture and stuff everything and make sure to plug your vacuum or you will have vacuum issues because the pcv is working on a vacuum system not system system but it's it's the second the 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 the, the uh the tube that come out of the pcv goes into the vacuum so make sure to get a plug and plug that up but that's what I found when the when this thing was wet here and I trying to figure it out and I've, I've I've seen a lot of people with the video and they didn't really explain exactly what happened but to my surprise and I found out because I modified the PCV it was able to get all the moisture out and, and it was it was start working okay blah 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 but because I plugged it back up and I didn't put the vacuum tube up it wasn't working properly it wasn't able to suck through so basically i clogged the pcv although not intentionally but so that's what happened um if you find this video then clean all this up first another thing is that if you see moisture a lot of white smoke and moisture coming out of your tailpipe more likely more likely you have moisture issued there must be a leak in a gasket somewhere in the engine itself the next best thing before it leaks a lot i suggest you to use the bars leak um gasket fix gasket seal fix it's like 2249 i just got it and I, I made a video i'll just link it to this here um that it worked within 25 minutes imagine that but only only if it's not a lot if you see like so much out of it i would suggest you to replace the gasket but if you just like minor minor issued or whatever it's not going to clog it haven't clogged anything yet on my case a lot of people say oh, clog this clog that no not in my case if you do it perfectly and correctly uh follow the easy instruction you would have no problem don't rush do what just like the instruction suggests you to do um but anyway uh i guess that's about it on this video and i'm glad i found this issue because now i know what actually causing it um the two things that you can do you can do the bypass of the pcv cut that and do the bypass and then install an oil catch can um that would keep your engine clean as well and it starts a little bit better because you don't want to limit anything because the pcv is in case the pcv get clogged up again uh, you're going to have starting issued again um another thing too is open the vent on your passenger side um or the oil cap vent uh, only if it's not under vacuum if it's under vacuum you can't you can't mop that um that would be another suggestion right there too but this is exactly what happened to this one here. So I hope this video will help you clear things up.